Reflecting the popular horses here with T for three last year's third, strongly fancied to go two better and thought by many sure to run well. And of course the AP McCoy factor very appealing as well, double seven shortening up all the time. This is walk on the grey, Wayne Hutchinson already successful today. Hugh Barkley is the starter, they're coming forward. Yeah, battle, no, battle no, group is no, hanging back. No, no. He can't let them it's go. Not time yet. It's not time yet. Well, not time, but also this horse, Battle Group, who has a history of being reluctant to race. He was nowhere near with them. Whether he'll get a second chance remains to be seen. Brendan Powell jumping off. Rishi's at the. Come on. And this time, come on, come they're away. Come One on. or two jockeys. We're dipping under the tape. No, it's a false start. The flag is waving. So more starting problems at the Grand National. To his old tricks again, the monkey at the back. See the sheepskin cheek pieces. Surely the starter won't give him too many chances. Simon Holtz. Yes, he might not be so generous this time. Battle group being led forward. And this time they go, but they go without battle group. He wasn't up for it. Battle group has refused to race. Golan Way was very slow to go as well. Up with the pace is Prince de Beauchamp with Raz de Marie. Uh, also showing speed, Mountainous. And one of the greys, Rose of the Moon, with further out, uh, is across the bay. And the package is handy on the wide outside with Wayward Prince. As they go to the first, here's Richard Hoyles. He's the ground for the first time in the National. Twirling Magnet is a faller towards the outside. Badly hampers Golan Way. I think that may be the only casualty at the first. Rose of the Moon with across the bay. The package is handy towards the outside as they rise at fence number two, at which Hunt Ball made a mistake and Burton Port has gone. Burton Port was a faller at the second, so the big ditch across the bay leads them towards the third with Wayward Prince. Long run right up in the front rank. They're all over the ditch safely bar. Big Shoe, who is a faller towards the rear. Big Shoe is out at fence number three. Across the bay then towards the fourth. Leads with Rose to the Moon. Long run right there, front rank in the early stages. The stragglers over at Alvarado's well back. Buckers Bridge is also well towards the rear with Vesper Bell, but they all got over the fourth safely. Kraslinen is towards the back of the field. Long run towards the one before Beaches. Leads them over fence number five. Once again, they're all over a mistake at the back by Kraslinen down towards Beaches and Ian Bartlett. And it's across the bay. Long run leading to Rose of the Moon, Wayward Prince, Mountainous, the Red Cabot, Prince de Beauchene, Balthazar King wide on the course, the package behind these. Then comes our fathers. They come over Beaches Brook now, and the uh, there's one gone right at the back at Beach has broke by the looks of things. Jockey's just hidden from me. I'm thinking it might be last time Dalban who has uh, gone. It is as they come over Foynavon and the light blue of across the bay to long run the orange sleeves. Prince de Beauchene and Wayward Prince behind these from Mr. Moonshine. Balthazar King and Golan Way. He was right at the back early on, made a good deal of progress. The Rainbow Hunters with him from Pano de Rey and then one in Milan as they take the canal turn gun. There, Golan Way is down and Tidal Bay has been brought down. Down and our father has gone as well. No, uh, yes, it our father is gone as well. Those are all out of it. And a long run has gone at Valentine's. Here's Simon Holtz. And the Rainbow Hunter has also gone. And Mountainous was down there. Across the bay is left well clear. Vesper Bell made a terrible mistake at Beaches under Katie Walsh. She did well to recover. The field somewhat depleted. A mistake there from double seven. The Mount of AP McCoy as they race on towards an open ditch. And across the bay is out clear of Mr. Moonshine. Ryan Manier in those blue and yellow colours right there with Colbert Station. Then Rocky Creek. Rose of the Moon is the grey very handy uh, there is Ryan Manier on the near side in second place at the moment as they go to the one before the Melling Road across the bay from Colbert Station Mr Moonshine then Rocky Creek uh, chasing them up is the package and after the package is uh, Prince de Beauchene towards the inside Pinot de Rey then double seven Wayward Prince is towards the outside of these uh, towards the rear of this little group then is um, the uh, Bottom one, one in Milan, and then further back Alvarado with Walk On. Also in the run is Swing Bill, followed by Monbeg Dude. Balthazar King is still in the race towards the outside as they head towards the next plane fence, and across the bay is still the leader. 
Colbert Station over on the inside, Mr. Moonshine, then Rose of the Moon, Rocky Creek and the package, Prance de Beauchene in the red cap, T for three on the inside, the striped jacket, as they go down towards this next plane fence, Walcon chasing these, followed by Humble, and down nearly gone, Pino de Rey, who collided with one in a Milan there, a swing bill is towards the outside with Monbeg Dude and Hawks Point, as they clear the one before the chair, and across the bay is safely over from Colbert Station, towards the rear vintage star shakalaka boom boom vespa bell is still going cruise linen is still going and quito de la rock as now they head towards the biggest fence on the course a couple of loose horses running across the pack across the bay is going to lift off in front over the chair from colbert station uh, down on the inside t for three is gone nick schofield on the ground t for three is out of the race across the bay leads the way towards the water jump from colbert station in second then mr moonshine third prance to Beauchene and Rose of the Moon. They are followed by Rocky Creek. The package round the inside of Double Seven and Wayward Prince across the bay has been carried out there by the loose horse and is right off the track and forfeits a huge amount of ground as they now head out on their second circuit. Colbert Station, Rocky Creek, Mr. Moonshine, Rose of the Moon, the package. Then on the inside, Prince de Beauchene followed by Double Seven, Pinot de Rey and Walcon behind them. Triolo de Laine is still in the race as well as they head back across the Melling Rose. Swing Bill is chasing them up with Pino de Rey. And then behind these one in a Milan. And after those, Leon Nabani still running with Vintage Star, Vintage Star and Trello de Lenn as they jump the next back to Richard. Round about 23 still standing as they head down the side towards Beaches for the second time. Rocky Creek right up in the van now with also towards the inside Colbert Station. Mr. Moonshine not too far away as they step over the next and the run down towards Beaches Brook of these line of six fences. Quito de la Rock is struggling in rear. After that instant across the bay is well back. The ditch is next. Rocky Creek leads Colbert Station. Mr. Moonshine. Double seven for Tony McCoy. A mistake by one in a Milan. Wayward Prince is also under pressure. Hawks Point still going. Chance de Roy still going. Quietly ridden Triola de Lane. Alvarado is beginning to make some ground as they take this next fence. And Chakalaka Boom Boom at the back has been pulled up before taking that. Up in front it's Rocky Creek with Mr. Moonshine. Another great ride for Ryan Mania. Prince de Beauchamp Colbert Station's just drifted back slightly. Behind these, the package is creeping closer. Monbeg Dude is getting closer as well as they take the one before Beechers. A tailed off Quito de la Roque is about to be pulled up. Beechers Brook for the second time. Here's Ian. Rocky Creek then with Mr. Moonshine, the leaders just in behind and Prance de Beauchene. AP is there on double seven with the cheek pieces on Pino de Rey and one in the Milan behind those. Then the package Balthazar King towards the outside of runners. One in the Milan was a faller there and a trio de Lenn has been pulled up as they head down to Foynaven. Rocky Creek in the red sleeves. Mr. Moonshine, the blue and yellow jacket, double seven with a white cap in behind those. Prance de Beauchene is behind these. Wayward Prince is well behind. Raz de Marie is tailing off. The leader are followed by Vespa Bell, a great chance right there in the pink jacket, then the package and Balthazar King who's banged there on the outside as they take the canal turn for the last time, Mr Moonshine has jumped through to the lead there, Mombe Dude made a mistake but he got over it okay, the back marker is Wayward Prince as they head down to Valentine's, we return to Simon and last year's winning rider Ryan Manier again leads the Grand National field, a terrible mistake by Cruz Linen back in the field but it's Mr Moonshine and Ryan Manier leading with Rocky Prince Wayward, as they jump the next and over it mr it was mr moonshine rocky creek in the white cap ap mccoy on double seven followed by pino de ray chance de roy is getting into the race as well with prance de mouche on the inside prance de beauchene then the package out wide followed by balthazar king monbeg dude in the red and white jacket vespa bell the pink colors katie walsh in touch hunt ball is in touch as well and in behind these is buckers bridge as they go towards the third last in the crabby's grand national and rocky creek has taken over from Mr. Moonshine as they head back across the Melling Row. Balthazar King on the left in the red jacket. Pino de Rey is right there. So to the package and double seven. In behind these is Chance de Roy. Then Monbeg Dude. Behind them is Buckers Bridge and Vesper Bell. Prance
as De Beauchene towards the inside and Alvarado in the blue jacket and they are clear of Walcom. They head back onto the race course. Rocky Creek and Noel Feely just in front from Pino de Rey and Leighton Aspel in second place. Balthazar King on the left. Richard Johnson, AP McCoy now delivering a run with double seven as they head towards the second last. Chance to Roy running on into fifth place ahead of the fading Mr. Moonshine and then Mobbeck to Pino de Rey lifted up just ahead of Rocky Creek as they race towards the final fence and it's Pino de Rey that gallops into the lead from Rocky Creek and double seven and Balthazar King at the final fence. Pino de Rey jumps it well. Balthazar King now giving chase. Then double seven and Rocky Creek and Chance to Roy as they make their way up the long run in. Pino de Rey and Leighton Aspel chased hard by Balthazar King and Richard Johnson and by double seven and AP McCoy but at the elbow it's Pino de Rey by six lengths inside the final furlong. Balthazar King and then after these double seven as they race up towards the line Pino de Rey the 11 year old for trainer Dr Richard Newland and Leighton Aspel is going to take out the Krabby's Grand National. Pino de Rey wins. Balthazar King second, double seven in third. Alvarado for fourth. Chance to Roy fifth, just ahead of Rocky Creek in sixth. In seventh was Monbeg Dude. Raz de Marais came through next, followed by Swing Bill, Cruz Lynn and Buckers Bridge. Then a gap to the package, Vesper Bell across the bay. Mr. Moonshine getting very tired. Prince de Beauchene, Hunt Ball, Hawks Point is just about the last one to finish. Leighton Aspel here has landed the Grand National on Pino de, de Rey. Leighton, who went close a few years ago, this time he's won it. Leighton Aspel, who retired from race riding in 2007, went to work for the flat trainer John Dunlop, came back because he missed the camaraderie of the weighing room, has won the Krabby's Grand National. He finished second in his very first ride on Supreme Glory back in 2003. This a very different experience because Pino de Rey was always travelling beautifully, has jumped well and has won this for Dr Richard Newland, who is a GP. He only has a few horses in training, started out doing it for a bit of fun, but my word, he knows what he doing and Pino de Rey has been prepared beautifully for this. What a shock to so many people. All the horses that were talked about in the run-up. I mean, double sevens run well for AP McCoy. Flashing his tail there is going to finish third. Balthazar King has run a great race as well. But Pino de Rey was one of those who snuck into the race. Some shrewdies fancied him. Late Naspel was confidence on board. And let's get the reaction of the jockey who has won this year's Grand National.